Hi guys, my name is Ivy Dulo, coming to you right from the shores of Nam Lolwe, all the way from Western Kenya. And you're watching DW77% and this is my city, Kisumu! Kenya's third largest city sits on the banks of Africa's biggest lake. A cultural capital for the country's Luo people, Kisumu is known for fresh fish, stunning sunsets, and irresistible manga rhythms. So I love my city Kisumu because it's a very beautiful place. As you can see, we have the lake, we have the hills that surround us, and we have the urban place where we're in now, where's the city. And we have amazing people. People are very friendly. We're very stylish. And being that we're stylish, we love preserving our own culture as Africans. So when it comes to music in Kisumu, Kisumu has produced so many great legends. An example is the late Ayu Bogada, who took our music all the way to Hollywood. I love music. It's who I am. It defines me. I feel free because you know something about music. When it hits you, you feel no pain. Kisumu's growing population has put a strain on its most precious natural resource. The degradation of Lake Victoria, or Nam Lolwe as the locals call it, caused Ivy's music to take a turn. So for us, this lake has been a source of our livelihood. It has also a connection with our culture and our economic growth as people in Kisumu. But sadly, since last year, it's been facing a lot of threats. The lake started having lots of plastics in it, making the lake die to an extent where fish don't have food anymore. So that's the reason as to why I decided to be an environmentalist in Kisumu and just clean our lake. As an environmentalist, what I do to reach out my information and my message to other people I use my music because I'm a vocalist. So this song was dedicated to our lake and all the environment that's surrounding us. So I hope you get to enjoy. I want these lyrics of this song to inspire the people of my city to be able to know the consequences of what we are doing to this lake and to know the importance of this lake. Ivy doesn't limit her environmental advocacy to the concert stage. Most city residents live in informal settlements like this one. And it's here that Ivy's anti-pollution crusade gets hands-on. So we're in Koyango, my place, my hood. This is where I live and we're on our way to a plastic recycling workshop and we're going to meet a few of our young environmentalists. Can you imagine all this came from the lake? We're going to shred these plastics through this machine and get to see what we're going to get. Precious Plastic Manyata is headquartered in Kisumu's largest slum. The young hustlers here take plastic waste from waterside dump sites and transform them into useful objects for sale. Wow, isn't this beautiful? This is the end product from all the waste that was collected in the dump site. I'm so happy that fellow youths like me are doing amazing things out here and protecting the environment through making such beautiful things from plastics. For Kisumu residents, the lake is more than just an important economic resource. It's also a place for relaxation. And what better way to enjoy it than with a sunset cruise on Nam Lolwe's gentle waves. I love my city and I love my lake and I'd love for my city people to come together and preserve this lake for the future generations. 